I've always asked myself why fuck boys get more girls than me. They're bad for them. They they destroy the lives of the girls and and the girls are so manipulated, blah blah blah. I used to have all these shitty excuses and today I'm going to talk about why they aren't worth anything and why and how you can become one of those guys who seem to attract women by the pound. Now I've not understood this to the point where I can implement it perfectly to every single time, but I've understood it to the point where I can teach it to you and where I feel 100% comfortable of giving you my word that this will work for you if you put enough effort into it. If you want to focus on girls, if you want a girlfriend, this video will give you the tools to do so. I won't tell you if it's right or wrong for you to get a girlfriend right now because I don't know you personally. For me personally, it's wrong. That's why I don't focus as much on it. But if you need the tools to get a girlfriend right now, please don't do this out of desperation or out of loneliness. The worst thing you can do is binding yourself long term to because of a feeling you had short term. So keep this in mind throughout the whole video and really think on the reason why you want a girl around you. If your reason is justified, then this video will help you. If it's not, it's also going to help you, but you are going to have a shit life a couple years down the line. Probably. Trust me, I've experienced with this. Frame is what we're going to talk about today. The way you frame girls is the way, is the way they're going to be. If you frame a woman as a bitch, as a hoe, she's going to be exactly that. Because humans adapt to what you think about them. If I lock you in a cage and keep you prisoner for three fucking years, you will behave like an animal. No matter how civilized you are, if I hold you hostage for long enough and lock you in a cage and treat you like an animal, you will become an animal. If I treat you like a princess, you will be a princess. And that's the thing that's wrong with most guys. They are so scared. Will she write back? How long will it take to, for her to write back? Does she want to be my girlfriend? I'm so worried. And that's the image they're giving her. Because this is all subconscious stuff. The one word you wrote different on your text message, the one micro expression you had on your face, that is telling her what you really think. That is telling her subconscious what she is for you. And you treat her like that and she becomes that. If you treat her as if she's gonna break up with you any minute, she is going to break up any minute and she is gonna look around more opportunistic than ever. The reason Tate and these big playboy player type guys mastered women so much is because of frame. They have a different image of women in their mind. This is why attracting women is to some extent genetics. You might have had in kindergarten an experience that made you scared of women, that made you scared that women might reject you. And this is why you're acting scared right now. I'm later going to teach you a couple tools to fix that because I fixed it myself somehow. Don't, don't ask me. <clears throat> and this is the thing you need to change. You don't need to see her as a hoe or as a stupid bitch. You need to see her for what she should be for you. If you want her as your girlfriend, see her as your girlfriend and treat her as if she is already yours. Go in with this energy. And I know this is harder done than said. Go in with the energy as if she was already yours and she will be much more like, oh yeah, of course, of course. Why do you think two people, men and women, get together and they never said we're in a relationship, but they both know that they're kind of in a relationship? I've seen this with so many guys and it's mostly with guys who had such a good frame of women that women just looked at them and said, yeah, this guy is my boyfriend. <laughs> it's because of frame that you do small little body gestures that make you look confident or unconfident. The reason I can talk confidently on camera is because I envision my younger self sitting in front of me right now and I feel I am superior to him because I've done more work than him, I have more knowledge than him and I have more experience in every single field than him. This is why I feel comfortable 
This is why I have mostly confident body language in my videos. Because I have framed my younger self as the camera. Do you understand this right now? That the way you treat people is the way they are going to behave. And the thing, the phrase in which I would express, in which I would explain frame, if I could only say one sentence about it, is everything is true. Everything is true. Three words about frame and they're true. Everything you think about is true. If you think women are hoes, it's true. It is going to be true if you think about it long enough. This is why everyone tells you visualize. Visualize is nothing but framing. You frame a certain experience a certain way. You frame driving a Lambo as achievable. And if you think about it for long enough, if you, if you say, yeah, of course it's achievable, if you framed it correctly, it is achievable. All these manifestation, visualization, everything is frame. Everything is some aspect of frame. If you think that all women are your girlfriend, it is going to be like this at some point. You need to just frame it in this way. And as I just said, visualization works. And hard work works. Because it's much easier to visualize banging the hot chick if you're big and strong and jacked and sexy than if you're the little junk rat in his room jerking off five, five times a day to his fucking body pillow, dry humping your bed sheets or something. So work hard on yourself and visualize. Frame women in the way in which it makes it easy for you to do that. And the way visualization with women works is you pick a target, right? You pick a woman you want to frame. And then you basically have self-talk with her. This is how remote seduction works. You walk somewhere, you're in some scenario, and you imagine being in that scenario with her. It sounds kind of idiotic, it sounds stupid, it sounds autistic, but this way you'll be able to get more reps in before you actually talk to her. There's two things you need to know about her. The one thing is how does her voice sound? And how does she usually talk? And then because everything is true, if you envision her to talk in a certain way, it will become true. Your micro expressions that you're going to have, the things you're going to talk about are going to be related to the things you said in your self talk with her. So the next time you sit alone in your car or you're in the gym, imagine being there with her. I used to do this in 2022 and it's the way I went from getting zero dates in the last 16 years of my life to getting 20 dates in the first year of me really focusing on dating. I'm not a natural. I was the loser who no girl wants, wanted to talk to. I had a girlfriend that I had for a month and I lost her because of frame. I framed her in the wrong way and therefore she basically broke up with me. But then I started implementing these self talks with the women I wanted. And the energy in the conversation was so good. It was so changed and it worked wonders on me. Start using this self talk method today and implement it every single time you can. There is a hinge to it, though. The hinge to this problem, though, is that you need to know the woman. You need to go and talk to her first before you can do this. So you need to get to talk to as many women as possible or to that one girl you're afraid of talking to. You need to talk to her. And if it's just to know her voice so you can frame her and then talk to her again, fine. But you need to have heard her talk enough so that you can imagine her voice. This doesn't work with women who you have never talked to. So implementing this video will have two effects on your life. You will approach more women and you will be better when you talk to them for the second time and this will compound over time. The more time you invest in framing one woman, the more better energy you will have in every single conversation.
If you liked this video, it would be a great pleasure to me if you would subscribe to me because I'm currently trying to reach one subscriber a day. If you want to share this to your younger self, because the YouTube algorithm works like this, okay? Someone searches for a video, how do I get women, for example? And then a bunch of videos will pop up. And if this video helped you and you give it a like, the video will be more likely to, will, to be recommended to that guy. So if this video helped you and you think it would help your younger self, which it obviously would because it did, then you can like the video and, and it will have a higher chance of being recommended to your brother. And this way you can do something good for your brother today. Walk in faith. May the Lord bless you. All glory to Jesus. Master your mind.